Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together we are... The mind blowing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mind blowing blokes on another level. <laughs> I was literally going to do it that time. Could you sense it? No. <laughs> Just uh, I don't, I don't mind reading. That's fine. I blew your mind, you it's see. Fine. You did. Yeah. You did. I almost used a naughty word at you then, but it's yeah, like the first 30, I know, I know, I know, 30 I know. seconds yeah. of the video. Yeah. Yeah. About another 10 seconds. I've seen you up a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we are the office blokes and <laughs> two, one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going live for the Super Bowl for a watch along party, so we do hope to see you all there. Yeah, it's going to be uh, my first ever NFL game in, in, Full in its entirety. Yeah, and lots of beers and Let's all that. See sort of if stuff. you make it through the entirety. But I've not been drinking much. It's going to have been a month's worth of not really drinking. So uh, you know, I might be a state, or I might be all right. Mm. We'll see. I'll be all right. Yeah, right then. Sure. Mind blowing machines that are at another level. These like manufacturing machines, are they? Yeah, I guess so. I think I've seen this one. It's like a kind of rubber nipple that gets mm. the design and then does it on a like bowl. a pot or a bowl yeah. or something. Oh, like right. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen them before mm. and I just wanted to say nipple. Yeah. So uh, let's get into it. Mind blowing machines that are at another level. Or not. An inked blob is inserted in glassware for a uniform design. Gloves are dipped into heated protective molding and dried. It's a bit weird, that, isn't it? Yeah. I have a field day with one of the machines, maybe like back and forth, making them dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Bedding is spun into a tight roll for easy transport. A blow molding machine compacts to create a 10 foot boat. Wet concrete is formed into a curb with a curb roller CM4000. <laughs> of course, it's called that. <laughs> Magnetic force is used to gather nails for speedy packaging. That's An industrial cool. yeah. winder braids and wraps colossal cable. Small teeth grab and thinly slice a big hunk of beef. Textile passes through numerous ink rollers, creating a floral design. Ah. Two template palettes converge on blow molding to form a jar. A what? A jug? Jar. A jar. The heated flat end of a cleaver is bent into a handle. Raw metal is shaved to achieve a glass-like finish. Wow. I love stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. The denim pocket is mounted and given an ornate seam design. Pockets and slots are etched with a shoulder milling cutter. <laughs> wow. A tractor arm shovels and fills. It is distracting me a bit <clears throat> that this song is used by Popo Medic. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I always say? I always say to, uh, to my wife, I always, she says something about DIY. <coughs> when I watch a TV show, and I always say, because he's got the right tools. Exactly. He's got the space with loads of tools. And I'm yeah. thinking, if you've got them tools and that space, <clears throat> you'd be good, you'd be all right. Yeah. yeah. It's a huge thing, having the right yeah. equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Job, without a doubt. Mm. I, I like watching some restoration YouTube channels. Yeah. And they've got everything from, you know, for... I, like powder coating metals once mm. they've sort of done them and stuff and it's mesmerising to watch yeah. and I love the idea that one day I'd have a big space and be able to learn all that yeah. stuff but again without the tools without yeah. the right sort Nothing. of means to do it you can't yeah. that's it you need a hand cave you need a garage or something like that don't you everything yeah, massive it. workshop with exactly. everything in it yeah. that's what you need. I like look, those precision engineering ones are really good I could watch them all day mm. when they're cutting metal out yeah, yeah. yeah. Like hypnotising yeah. isn't it it is fills a Kevlar bag with sand Fruit is stabilized and evenly sliced with robotic shears. Wow. 
Molten hot metal is forged into a stainless steel cylinder. A wire is hooked to a spinning contract. Go back to that stainless steel cylinder, Dave. How big do you think it is? Do you think it's <coughs> massive or do you think it's little like that? I think that's like that. That looks, it looks quite big to I'm me. I'm looking at the windows in the back, like the, the grills in the back sort of thing. That as looks it was going about, on. Yeah, about five, six foot long or something, yeah. that looks to me. I wasn't sure if it was a little piece <laughs> like right, inside yeah. a little thing. Yeah. <laughs> like I, a little thimble. I think that's massive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Six foot easy. Yeah. A wire is hooked to a spinning contraption for consistent braiding. Spinning arms shoot out hay for rapid feed distribution. Cans are cubed for hauling with a hydraulic compression machine. Different sized bend dies rotate to form a giant spring. A rotating fastener catches metal to wrap a perfect spring coil. Several shearing arms converge on heated metal to make a spring. Wow. Nice. Hydraulic arm chops vertically to create unique designs. A pipe is forced through rotating compression to become... Is that a massive pencil or little people? <laughs> Square shape. Firewood is chopped and forced through an electric splitter. A large loop is created with a metal bending machine. Ferrous metal is detailed with a heated induction coil. Rebar-free concrete is broken with a pile cropper. Beams are cut with an industrial-grade bandsaw. A feller buncher safely severs and captures a treetop. Two oscillating arms slice a mound of dough into noodles. There's been a wow. couple where I think, <clears throat> is that really that viable? Yeah. Like the, the, the peel in the mango or whatever yeah. it was before seemed really convoluted for it what did, it was. Yeah. And that seems like, is that saving you any time? Well, do you know, well, do you know the funny thing is about peeling stuff like that, machines, I don't know if they do it now, but years ago, someone told me, um, that we used to we used to import a lot of um, cashew nuts, right, right. And someone said to me they used to come from India, and then so I said we were talking about growing them in India, and someone went, no, no, they don't grow them in India. I'm sure they do grow cashews in India as well, but they were grown in Guinea Bissau, in right. Africa, and shipped to India for peeling because the Indians had the technique down pat, right. And the people in Guinea Bissau couldn't peel them as good as the Indians could. So rather than take the Indians from India and put them in Guinea Bissau, they just used to ship the the nuts to India, and they'd peel them all, and then wow. ship them as a raw cashew. Wow. It's mad when you think about it. I've heard of products that are, like, grown in one country, shipped to another for processing, then shipped to another for packaging, yeah. then shipped to another mm. country yeah. for sale and stuff. Yeah. And you think about the gas mileage on yeah. it. It's oh, crazy, yeah. isn't it? It's huge. Yeah. Huge. But I wonder if they do machines now. Yeah. I've got machine for pretty much everything, haven't they, yeah. these days, especially in food preparation. And because it's in bulk, that's yeah. what they knew. It, it just saves money, doesn't it? Their jobs are so. gone now, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They were doing stuff on there when I'm thinking that's not the job a person would have done 50 yeah. years ago. I think yeah, those jobs definitely. those jobs go in countries where the wages become, higher. you know, a mm. decent. <clears throat> so yeah. then they get moved to another country, to another country, and eventually it'll probably all be automated. Mm. But I think there's still people sat shelling cashews yeah. or whatever they do. For certain yeah. things there will be, yeah. I guess yeah. they will. An irrigation ditch is neatly trenched with an excavator attachment.
An induction coil generates extreme power to seal the metal. Wow. Hot metal is bent into a heavy-duty chain link. Robotic arms work in unison to make a tight knot. I love the fact that someone came up with that. Yeah, you know, was, was it on? I'm, I'm, not, I'm sh not sure. What was he using it for? It was tying a knot. No, I know that. But what, on what? what? I th well, they've only shown that, haven't they? I don't know. But either way, the fact that someone's had to sit and work out how do we get that yeah. to just grab it there, turn that. Yeah, and it's even of, some of the, that's it's even some of the equipment you think, how did you think of that in the first yeah, place? Yeah, someone had yeah, to design that. These are proper crazy. boffins, aren't they, who do yeah. all this? It's and, probably a piece of piss to them. <clears throat> and some of them, well, a lot of them have got to be absolutely spot on. Like yeah. straightness wise, you know, how round they are yeah. and everything, you know, like where you see all the sellotape going onto a reel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if that's just like a fraction of a millimetre out, they ain't gonna well, they're easier to do, aren't they? Not ones, because all you do is you multiply the x by the <coughs> y, divide it by c, and then times it by four on the top, and that gives you the knot, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Well, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. sounds extremely plausible. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Squash gets pushed through a spinning blade for exact slicing. <laughs> It needs to be sliced more than it's uh, spinning. Yeah, that's it's slowed down. Like it. It's because of how fast right. it was spinning, yeah, 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 and then the yeah. frame rate of frame, the yeah, camera yeah, filming yeah. it. Right. You've asked me that before. <laughs> <laughs> I serve them to walk along. I know. <laughs> Leaves get rapidly gathered with a skag windstorm. You mean blowing into your neighbour's garden? That's yeah. Right. Propane tanks are intensely crushed to make scrap metal. I don't know if you do that, innit? Yeah. yeah. Rusty vice grips get cleaned with a laser. Oh, Give it this I love. Look at this. Gave it the old rusty vice grip, didn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a laser. <laughs> Rusty vice grips get cleaned with a laser. Yeah. Motor, I think. Styrene. I think it was, wasn't it? Not sure what yeah, that looked like. It. You can't see half of it. How that, can you cut it like that? I'd, I'd take a, like a, something tiny like this big out with a bit of polystyrene and there's white bits everywhere. Yeah, he's cutting it like that and he's not. I know, it's nothing, no bits or anything. Yeah. It's just mesmerising some of them. Yeah, really, yeah. really <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah. sitting here watching them all day. Know, really right? good. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. I, I love the idea that there's just a problem and then some smart person sits yeah. there and just thinks, right, what can we do? And yeah. then little motors and little gears together mm. have solved the problem yeah 
It's awesome. What was, that, what was that purple one they put a face on? What was it? It looked like a yeah, whoopee cushion. I don't know what it was. That, yeah. Was it? No. I, don't, I don't know. It definitely I was. I wasn't sure if it was a vacuum, you know, like a little Henry type thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not too sure. Not sure. And the, the one with the, the copper. Yeah, that's like the inside of a motor, wasn't it? I think. We have magnets on the outside. You have yeah. a couple of wire on the inside. Uh, I think that's what that was doing. That was uh, wrapping the copper in the motor. Okay, yeah. Great though, aren't they? To watch. Just uh, yeah, really good. I feel it very is. relaxed after yeah. watching. It is actually. Yeah, yeah you don't yeah. feel yeah. tense or anything. Do you have to think? Right. Is like your mind blown? Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite, in fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Don't forget like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next. Cheers, one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.